The United States has many scenic roads. One of the most famous can be found on the Hawaiian island of Maui. On maps, it is listed as Route 360, but it's most commonly known as the Road to Hana. It's a journey familiar to many an NFL head coach, vacationing after the Pro Bowl. Have you ever driven the road to Hana? I think we did do that one time. It took about a gazillion hours. It takes forever. You have to leave at like four in the morning. Have you ever? Oh, hell yeah, I took it. What's that drive like? A little curvy, little curvy. About a thousand of those things. Winding now, it's, yeah, it's, I remember that part. It's forever. And you need not to take your eye off the road. And it's tough to pass. Not impossible, tough to pass. The 34 mile stretch of cliffside road snaking down the island's east side is traveled by over a million visitors a year and is breathtaking in more ways than one. It features over 400 turns. There are 54 one-lane bridges. Along the way, there are plenty of sights to see. But one must also dodge tourists, rock slides, and an endless stream of rental cars up the And even then, you're only halfway there. It's long, it's beautiful. It's a great experience. It really is a beautiful ride. It's not bad if you're driving, but I think passenger, it'd be, it'd be a little tough. Take Dramamine, take something. Yeah, take a helicopter. <laughs> At the end of the road sits the town of Hana. The nausea-inducing drive it takes to get there has become a significant home field advantage for the local high school's eight-man football team the Hana High Dragons. Don't let the linemen beat you guys. We like it when they drive on this road. That is totally home field advantage. People in Hana, we live here all our lives, and we still get sick on the road. So I hope they get sick on the road. I can't remember a, a team where the coach did not come and tell me, oh, I got five guys who just, you know, threw up on the side of the road. I would say that's definitely a home field advantage. But any advantage Hana's remoteness gives, it also takes away. It is the smallest public high school in the state of Hawaii. We have 84 kids in our high school right now, males and females. And then we have 34 boys, and currently 18 are on the team. Hana boys! Yeah! Yeah! Keep you outside. Keep you outside. A further consequence of Hana's extreme isolation is inexperience. Generally speaking, kids in Hana are a little more sheltered. They don't have the exposure that a lot of kids in other places do. So for example, in Hana, we don't have a Pop Warner program. So when they get to high school, you get kids that they don't know what a line of scrimmage is. They don't know the concept of four downs. They try hard to understand the game. Caleb, hey, we're thinking too much. They just don't know the mechanics and techniques of football. Caleb, don't think so much. Look one time, where is that? I come back. In 2015, nine of the 18 players are freshmen. Even the others who are not freshmen, we have a couple sophomore and juniors who are suiting up for the first time playing football ever. Honestly, this year, we were pretty close to not having a, a football team. It's just, I guess, the luck of the draw. Last year, we had 10 seniors. This year, we have two. One is the team's defensive end. We had to go through a lot of coaching and teaching. Some of them, they never played football in their life. The other, it's running back. On down, on down. Ready? On down, let's go. Being a senior, we get a lot of responsibility. The team, team counting on us. Or at least that's how we feel, but everybody learning. 
Don't put it so far on the block where he's going to kick the block. It's not just about playing football. You got to have fun. Just keep your head down. Don't worry. If he kicks your hand, he'll be telling you he's sorry. If you lose the fun and interest of football, it's not going to happen. There you go. Nice. Though the school was founded in 1912, it wasn't until 2012 that it decided to start a football team. It was our 100th anniversary that year, so it was 100 years, and we started football in Hana. No hesitation. In the very beginning of the program, it was just a totally new experience for everyone involved. Most of the parents included. Football is a different animal. It requires a tremendous amount of effort. And if you're not used to seeing the running, the workouts, the commitment that's required to play football, it took some of our parents back. They were surprised at the effort that it took to play football. The word HANA means work. It's about the work. We try and teach them a good work ethic. And our kids, they rose to the occasion. In September of 2012, Hana High held its first ever pep rally. We had the pep rally and looked at the high school section, and most of the boys were, you know, on the court as a part of the football team. I was on the team. I was a freshman. The first home game, the whole town showed up. People were packed around the field. Everybody was just yelling so loud. And it was like a big thing, because Hana never had football before. Here we with our home team, Hana Dragons, for the first game. the first game. You could tell they were proud to be a part of something new, and it was really neat to see the kids kind of all be lifted up. There were a lot of people that said it couldn't be done. The Dragons lost their inaugural game, but gave the home fans plenty to cheer about. That first year, Hana surprised not only the entire Maui Interscholastic League, but themselves as well. Yes, yes, that's a good play, perfect. One of the things I noticed in that first year was a certain swagger among the kids. In that year in particular, we had kids that were really shy and, you know, kind of in their shell. And there was something about football that brought them out of their shell. With the second pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Marcus Mariota. On his draft day, Marcus Mariota chose to stay in Hawaii with his family rather than attend the event. When he became the first Hawaiian-born player to win the Heisman Trophy, he wore a flower lei. Cultural heritage is important in Hawaii and Hana High School in Maui is a vibrant example. 80% of the students are of Hawaiian ancestry, and the school is covered in murals that celebrate their Polynesian past. Outrigger canoeing is a varsity sport. And one of the football team's senior captains is named after the island's most visible hand gesture, shaka. Everybody knows shaka and what it means. Hang loose and laid back. That's what this is. And it's kind of hard to forget I'm the only one in the whole town. It means wanderer. Hello. 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 I like to go all over the place and meet a lot of different people. I know everybody, and everybody knows me. Hi, Carly. <laughs> shaka moved to Hana from the main island of Oahu in the seventh grade. He holds a unique distinction in the four-year history of the team. Shaka is the only player that's played all four years, actually. He did play a little bit of Pop Warner when he was on Oahu. And so he brings that toughness. He brings that leadership by example. He's a good kid all around, and everybody loves Shaka. You, you know that for a fact. There's little doubt about which class Shaka loves best.
Polynesian music class. We have that class Monday to Friday, every day, period three. And I really enjoy it because I love to play Hawaiian songs. I like Hawaiian culture a lot. When you know the meaning of the words, you really feel the song. For HANA students, there is one word in particular that receives special emphasis from the staff. The Hawaiian word that our program and these kids try to live by is pono. P-O-N-O, -O, pono. That word really sticks out. Well, pono is to do the right thing, make the right choices. No matter how hard it's getting, don't give up. In order to have a successful team, you need to make right choices. So do things the right way and treat people the right way. Hana considers itself the most traditionally Hawaiian community in all of the islands. A lot of it has to do with the fact that we are far away from civilization, so to speak. And it's a, it's a blessing, you know, for the community. They take pride in the fact that we live in a place like this. It's simple, and they like it that way here. Perhaps no player embodies old Hawaii more than the team's senior running back. Isaiah Lin, he grew up in Hana. He lives the Hawaiian style. As country boy as you can find. He fishes a lot, he hunts a lot, and, and they have to for a living. They rely on their cultural roots here. Everything is based on what their forefathers taught them. My dad and my grandpa pretty much taught me everything I know. <laughs> you look in the water, you can see the shine. When the fish turn, when they're eating on the bottom, every time they turn, you can see the green shine. Or if it's different fish, different colors shine. But fishing, is more than just a hobby for Isaiah and other HANA students. Basically, our school is 81% free and reduced lunch. So we do have socioeconomic needs in HANA. Manini, salt both sides and you fry it. Probably I can eat that right there by myself. Th two, three, <laughs> one meal. We don't have a McDonald's or a, or a um, Walmart to go to here in, in Hana. So naturally, you have to fish, you have to hunt, you know, for your food. Otherwise, you take that two hour drive to go get a cheeseburger and come back, you know. The Hana Highway takes people in both directions. After graduation, Isaiah will remain in Hana, working on his family's taro farm. Shaka has made plans to leave. I'm gonna be a law enforcement officer. Where's your mom? I'm gonna go to a police academy. I'll get used to the police department and then I'll see if I wanna advance to the FBI. For now, both have one final football game to play in Hana. It's dusk. The tourists have all gone. The road to Hana is silent. We got a little mascara for you guys. And it's not to go above your eye, your eyebrows, it's to go underneath of your eyes. In town, it's homecoming night, and the Dragons prepare for their final game of 2015 in Hana. Home games are played in a public park in the center of town. Hana and its vicinity have a population of around 2,000 and it seems every one of them is here. The town has turned out in force. The team hasn't. We got 15 right now, okay? That's all I count. The Dragons struggle to dress all 18 kids on the roster. Their opponent, the Seabury Hall Spartans, have no such issues. You know, they come with 30, 40 strong and they have a good program. You know, they do have some sort of Pop Warner leagues and they have kids who've been playing for years. In four years of league play, Seabury has lost just one game. If the Spartans are carsick from their ride, they don't show it.
Seabury opens with a surprise onside kick. Dive on that ball, man. That quickly leads to a touchdown. It has all the makings of a long evening in the tropics. Block, boy! But as the game wears on, one name begins to be heard more than any other. Tackle by number 90, Shaka Pella Wong. All I've been getting told from when I was six years old playing football in Oahu is get the guy with the ball, no matter what. Go until the whistle blows. In a remarkable performance, Shaka Kalalau plays defensive end, tight end, and punts. And at halftime, his job is not done. My class voted for me to be the homecoming king. There was only me or Isaiah. So it was 50-50 chance. And I ended up being the king, my cousin, the queen. <laughs> it's the local king, the queen. You about have them right now, OK? But don't let them start believing right now. If they start believing, they're a dangerous team, OK? In the second half, Hannah's two seniors lead by example. Isaiah Lynn. That's it, Isaiah. We like it. We like it. Do it again. Do it again. It's now the fourth quarter and Seabury has yet to pull away from Hana. The score is still seven to nothing. Guys, hang on tough, guys. It's not over yet. Guys, we're still not out of it. This is the first time in the past four years that we played Seabury, that's the lowest score. Come on, guys, hold on, guys. We've had a chance. And that's the ball game. Time clock ran out. Seabury Hall, 15, on the Dragon Zero. You know, as a coach and as an adult, you worry about whether they're going to lose with class, and they lost with class. Our kids never laid down. Good job, everybody. They're a spirited group that never quit. Way to fight hard, guys. Way to fight hard and not give up. Good job, Good job guys. In the spirit of Aloha, Hana honors Seabury's graduating seniors, and then their own. <laughs> the reward, a handmade tea leaf lei and a $2 inner tube. Uh, yeah, you see me tomorrow at school. You see me tomorrow, guys. You see me tomorrow. The one thing the players can always count on is the support of their community. They're all telling us how good of a job we're all doing and how we played as a team. It was great and we never gave up. Couldn't be any happier. Shaka Kalalau has played his last game in Hana. But in this uniquely Hawaiian town, football is just beginning to take root. I feel very proud to represent Hana football. A lot of people don't even know about this place. When you say Hana, they're like, what island is that? Hana. Now everybody's talking about Hana. To be able to watch these kids grow and to see how athletics really does push their desire to be better people is humbling. And I wouldn't ask for anything else. I'm really proud of all the kids here, not just the football players. Kids in Hana aren't really used to being the highlight. They're not usually the kids you read about in the paper or see on TV. The kids in Hana often get the short end of the stick, whether it's in the score or whatever it is, and they never stay down. They always get back up. Hana is a special place. That's why thousands of people flock to Hana every day. They drive through our community. The road to Hana, it is a place of beauty. 
and tradition. The latest of which is an eight-man high school football team that has captured the heart of its community. I mean, Hana is a little town way on the east end. Four years into this, and we have something like this. Wow. Some people wait all their life for it. Good for us. I love it. <laughs>